हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सिंगल साइड बैंड सप्रेस्ड कैरियर व्हिच इज एस एस बी एस सी मॉड्यूलेशन इफ वी कंसीडर ए स्टैंडर्ड ए एम सिग्नल ए स्टैंडर्ड ए एम सिग्नल रिक्वायर्स the transmitted bandwidth of 2 fm in both am and ds bsc modulation a half of the transmitted bandwidth is occupied by the upper side band and another half of the bandwidth is occupied by the lower side band these upper side band and lower side band are symmetry about the carrier frequency fc hence only one side band is necessary for transmission of message signal when only one bandwidth is transmitted the modulation is referred as single side band modulation the standard am signal as well as ds bsc modulation requires the transmitted bandwidth of 2 fm in am and ds bsc modulation half of the bandwidth is occupied by the upper side band of modulated wave and other half of transmitted bandwidth is occupied by lower side band of the modulated wave these upper side band and lower side band are uniquely related to each other since they are symmetry about the carrier frequency fc if we say symmetry which means they are equally distributed about the carrier frequency fc hence we can say only one side band is necessary for transmission of message signal when only one side band is transmitted the modulation is known as single side band modulation this figure shows the block diagram to generate the single side band modulated wave it consists of a product modulator and a band pass filter as shown in the figure the output of product modulator is multiplication of message signal along with the carrier signal which is ac cos 2 pi fct so we can write the output of product modulator is given as s1 of t is equal to m of t multiplied with ac cos 2 pi fct so this signal is ds bsc signal if we rearrange the above equation we can write s1 of t is equal to ac m of t cos 2 pi fct let us call this as equation number 1 if we take fourier transform on both side of equation number 1 we can write s1 of f is equal to ac by 2 multiplied with m of f minus fc plus m of f plus fc so we can write the above equation as s1 of f is equal to ac by 2 m of f minus fc plus ac by 2 m of f plus fc let us take this as equation number 2 in this equation this part represents the lower side band and this part of the equation represents upper side band here m of f is the frequency spectrum of message signal m of t when this ds bsc signal is passed through a band pass filter which consists of the center frequency fc it passes either upper side band or lower side band as the output so the ssb modulated wave can be upper side band 
of the DSBSC signal or it can be lower side band of DSBSC signal. So we are transmitting only one side band. If band pass filter transmit upper side band, we will get the SSB signal as S of F is equal to AC by 2 M of F minus FC. Let us call this as equation number 3. So this is single side band modulated signal with only USB. If band pass filter transmit the lower side band then SSB modulated wave is S of F is equal to AC by 2 into M of F plus FC. Let us call this as equation number 4. This equation represents SSB modulated signal with only lower side band. Hence we can say that the single side band suppressed carrier modulation which is represented as S of T produced at the output of band pass filter contains only one side band and carrier signal and other side band is eliminated or suppressed. So we can say single side band suppressed carrier modulated signal which is represented as S of T which is produced at the output of band pass filter contains only one side band and carrier signal and other side band is eliminated or we can say the other side band is suppressed that's why it is known as single side band suppressed carrier modulation in equation number 2 m of f represents the frequency spectrum of message signal m of t the spectrum is represented in figure a the bandwidth is 2w figure b shows the spectrum of dsbsc signal where we are having both upper side band as well as lower side band figure c shows the spectrum of ssb signal with only upper side band and figure d shows the spectrum of ssb signal with only lower side bands here you need to remember that the transmitted bandwidth is equal to W. As you can see from this figure, if upper side band is transmitted or lower side band is transmitted, the bandwidth required is W. So if we consider double side band suppressed carrier, the transmitted bandwidth will be equal to 2W. So this is one of the advantage of SSBSC modulation where we can say SSBSC modulation requires half of the bandwidth required by AM signal or DSBSC modulation. Due to suppressed carrier and only one sideband is transmitted that's why the power is also saved. The transmitted power is also saved. It also reduces the noise interference in the signal. These are few advantages of single sideband suppressed carrier modulation. This is about single sideband suppressed carrier modulation. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.